What's up guys, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a personal testimony of how God responds to faith and prayer. So stay tuned. What's up guys, I'm Ronnie Feist. Some of you guys may know me, some of you guys may not. So if you're new here, I am a retired professional freestyle motocross rider. And if you don't know what freestyle motocross is, it is basically doing a bunch of crazy tricks on dirt bikes. Competed at X Games for over 20 years. And if you don't know what X Games is, it is basically the Olympics for action sports. Today I wanna to share with you a testimony of how God answered the prayer of faith and how it impacted my personal relationship with Him. So way back in 2010, I tore my ACL and I had about seven months before X Games. Now I got the surgery, it is a six month recovery time come back off of that injury. I had just enough time to get my leg healed, to get back on my bike and have about a month training before X Games. So get the surgery, start rehab. About three months before the event, X Games begins to release the riders list. So X Games is all invitational. You have to get invited. They usually invite about 10 guys per event. So first list comes out, they release five names. I'm not on the list. I'm like, huh, shoot. I must be on the next list. Next list comes out about a month later. I'm not on that list. And I'm like, man, I didn't get invited to X Games. I've been in X Games every single year for the last you know, 10 years before this event. Now I'm not even invited. I was super discouraged, I was super bummed. And the only thing I could think is, well, I got hurt. They must think I'm not gonna be ready, so they didn't invite me. Anyways, I talked to my pastor that night and he just encouraged me. He was like, hey, don't be discouraged. Have faith, pray it in. The Lord will get you in. And I thought, huh, he's right. So I did exactly what he told me to do. I started believing that the Lord was getting me in. I started to pray with faith and expectancy that I was gonna have a spot at X Games. So about a month out from the event, I started riding and they actually, at that time, they, re they released the alternate list. So the alternate list is basically, if someone drops out, the alternate will take the spot. So there was three spots. I was the third alternate on the list. Now, if you're first alternate, most likely you'll probably have a chance to ride because it's very likely that someone's gonna crash and open up a spot for you. But I was third on the list. Most of the time, the, the third alternate never gets to ride. So it looked completely impossible for me to ride at X Games. But I had faith and I believed that God was able to do the impossible. The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. So I decided I was gonna take action. I'm gonna wake up every day, I'm gonna go to therapy, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna train, I'm gonna ride, I'm gonna be prepared, and I'm showing up at X Games ready to ride. But there was mornings I would wake up and I'd be completely discouraged. I would hear the voice of the enemy telling me, the Lord's not gonna get you in, he's gonna let you down, there's no point of riding today, you're just wasting your time, and I would have to constantly reject those lies, say the Lord is gonna get me in, get myself out of bed and go ride through the pain, through the struggle of rehabbing a knee and push through it every day. I remember the very first day, I haven't rode in six months and I finally got cleared to ride. The very first day I go to ride, I end up crashing super bad. It was a rough road, but I, I, I man, I stuck with it, kept training, kept riding, kept believing, didn't sit back, had put faith behind my action. I remember even telling people, people say, hey man, are you riding this year at X Games? I said, I plan on it. They're like, what spot are you? I'm like, I'm third alternate. They would look at me like I was nuts, like third alternate never rides. I'm like, the Lord's gonna get me in. Now, three people would have to drop in order for me to ride. I never once prayed for anyone to get hurt because that's normally how a spot opens up. And I said, Lord, you make a way. I don't want to see anyone get hurt. I remember saying, I don't want to see anyone get hurt, but you make a way, you make a way. So sure enough, the night before my event, three riders end up going down and they end up pulling out of the event that I was competing in the next day. I get a text from the promoter that night. All it said is, you're in. And I remember the moment I read the text, I'll never forget it. I started to weep and I was just blown away because I was like, man, God, you heard me. You saw me, you knew, and you answered, and you didn't let me down. The crazy part about the story is I didn't only get into the event, I ended up winning a medal that year. I got third that year, ended up on the podium, and God didn't have to do that. I would have been just happy with riding the event. The Bible says he is able to do exceedingly above more than we ask or think. He did more than what I expected. He did more than what I was even believing for, and that's just the God we serve. So the point of me sharing the story wasn't that I would just tell you a cool story about how I got in the next things, how I won a medal, blah, 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 cool, cool, cool. The point is that God uses these experiences in our life to show us who he is, 
what he's like so we trust him and then we build a personal history of walking with him. This story impacted me so much. It, it grew me so much closer to God. I trusted him so much more. It brought our relationship so much closer together. And the crazy thing is, years later, getting a little discouraged because I was single, I didn't have a girlfriend, I wanted a wife. And I remember just talking to the Lord and he simply whispered to me, remember X Games. And right when he said that and I heard that phrase, I knew exactly what he was talking about. It was time to once again to believe and to pray with expectancy, and I did. I began to pray and I began to believe and I began to expect the Lord to bring me a wife. And I prayed for eight months straight. Eight months later, guess who walked back into my life? A year after that, we were married. I wanted to share this with you because I want to encourage you. It ultimately glorifies God. It shows you who God is. It shows you what he did in my life and what he can do in your life if you just trust him and believe him. And it shows you he is faithful, he is able. And so I just want to encourage you guys, stay in the fight, stay in the battle, walk by faith, not by sight. Expect God to do exceedingly above more than you ask or think. He is able, take action, keep praying, and keep believing, and watch what God can do. So we hope this has been an encouragement to you guys. If you guys liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have a story like this, we would love to hear it. So be sure to let us know down below. So we hope this helps you to find God and to walk with him in your daily life. And we will see you next time.